Craftables again today. We're going to show you how to make a magic slider card. Um, this is a, a idea I got off the internet so I can't claim any fame to this one. Um, but I just thought it was a really neat card and I wanted to have a go at it with the coffee group ladies and they all seem to love it. So this is the card here. And what you do is when you pull the slider up it changes into a coloured picture. When you push it back down, it changes back to just plain white and black one. And when you open it up, you actually have a card inside there as well. So that's our card today. And this is what you'll get in your kit. So everything you need is in there. I have cut everything down to the right size, plus I've scored it all in the right places for you. Um, so I will go through, as we go through the video, I'll give you the measurements for each of these things as well. Right, so let's get started. I'll just push all that up there. Okay, so with your base card here, this card here measures 11 and 5 eighths along the top there and seven, 5 and 7 eighths down the side here. I've scored it in at 3 and 7 eighths and then again at 7 and 3 quarters here. So those are the measurements for your base card. So what I want you to do is just fold one side in and give it a good score down there and then fold that second side in there and give that a good score and that's going to be the base of your card. So on the middle panel there, we will need to put a piece of coloured paper. So I've chosen this one here for my card. So I want to mark that down so it's just slightly smaller than the rest of my card there. So I just want to give it a little bit of a, board, a white border. So I'll cut, the, I'll trim that down there. So we're going to go ahead and put some tape on the back of that and that is going to sit right in the middle of that, that middle panel there. Now because we are cutting a window out for our little girl in the middle there, we will need to put tape around all four sides plus a couple of strips in the middle as well because we're cutting out a window, we want it all to make sure it's sticking in the right place. Couple of strips in the middle just to make sure it's going to stick right down. And there as well. Okay, so we're taking all the backing off the tape there and we're going to pop that right into the center panel of your card. Just in the center there. So now I'm just going to go and cuddle bug a square out of that. Um, if you haven't got a square the size that we need, the size of your of your frame there will need to be about two and three eighths by. Three and three eighths as well. Okay, so that's the square size, well, that's the rectangle size you'll need for the size of your window. So I'm just going to stop the video there and I'm going to go and cut out my window and I'll come right back. Okay, so I've cut out my, my rectangle there for my framing and I'm going to now put some of the tape on the back of the frame and I'm just going to stick that down into the, into the window there. Okay, so we're just going to pop that aside for now and we're going to carry on with our stamp, uh, with our colouring in. So the two that you will need now are these two here. So I've stamped these out for you already, so they're all ready to go. These are part of the Gorgeous Girls collection and they're slightly smaller than the bigger ones that you can get, so they fit beautifully for this card. 
So I've gone ahead and coloured one in already, so I've coloured mine in like that. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put a tiny bit of tape at the top here. And this is just going to be a point of contact to keep the acetate on top of your coloured piece of paper, of your coloured little girl there. So we want to make sure it's all lined up evenly there. And then on your next piece of card there, we've got a piece here that's measuring 10 centimetres by 3 and a quarter. And I've scored it in at 5 centimetres. This is going to be the mechanism to hold the little girl in place. So we're just going to fold that in half. Now we want to make it so that we have a little bit of a slot in the top there so that this fits in. So we're just going to place her on there. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but we want these two sides of the colouring in pieces to be fairly even. So I'm just going to make a mark on either side there, so just on the sides. And I'm just going to get my ruler and I'm just going to come down half a centimetre there. Just going to roll across to the side and this is the bit that we're going to cut out here so I've just used my scissors to cut that out so you just cut down that line there, that line there and you're just going to get your scissors in and cut along that strip along there so this has made a little slot now for the card to go into so on the back of this we're actually going to put some tape all around all four sides again Make sure you get right up into those little corner bits there as well. This one on top. Okay, so what we're going to do now is that's going to be the back of your card there. So we're actually going to pop. This is where we're going to use the mechanism to help us now. So we're just going to open up the acetate and the coloured piece. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to slot the coloured piece of paper in the middle there, but the acetate goes onto the top. So when you slide it in and out now, that's how we get that coloured image coming up and down. Okay, so we're going to bring this piece of card back and we're going to flip it on the inside. And we're going to lay her down, sorry I've missed a step, what we need to do first is on this coloured piece here we need to put a piece of tape and we're going to put a, a piece of card along there and that's going to buffer it so it stops from coming out of your slot. Just along the very base there, just on the one with the colouring in it, on there. Get that off. And then you're going to place this piece right in the centre, right at the bottom so that you've got about the same width on each side. So what that does now is that stops this from falling out. Okay, so now we can carry on. So you're just going to slide it on the, in the base there and you're going to make sure that it's nice and even at the top. You've got an even side edge on here and we're just going to get this really thin 3mm tape. It has to be the thin stuff because we need to put the card, we need to close the card up and we don't want anything sticking to it. We don't want anything sticking anywhere it shouldn't be, so we need it to be very thin along there, right along the bottom as well. And then one more up this side here. So as close to those score lines as you can get. So we're just going to manoeuvre all that into place so it's all even and lined up. And now we're going to hold that there really carefully so it doesn't move, and we're going to peel all of the tape off the top there including the little thin strips as well. So all of the tape now comes off. And now we're just going to fold that over and we're going to close it down onto there and we're just going to push it all down on the tape. And that's enclosed the entire picture frame there. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to grab our border punch here. And we're just going to put a little notch in the front. Give that a little punch. And we're going to just line that up again. Here. And be careful not to go through that middle piece there. So 
So that's the little notch that you're going to have so that we've got something to grab onto to bring the little girl out. Right, so also in your coat you'll have a little circle. So we're just going to fold that in half. And we're just going to put a little bit of tape or glue, it doesn't matter which one. All we're going to do with that is we're going to slide it onto the top there to cover up that bit of tape that we put there earlier to hold the acetate on. And just a little bit of tape. Just going to fold that over there yeah, just to give it a bit of a covering there. So then I'm just going to grab my proper doll and I'm just going to put a little hole in there. And that's going to be the place where I'm going to put my ribbon now. So I just folded my ribbon in half and I've poked it from the back to the front, opened up the loop, and then I put the tail of the ribbon through the loop and pull tight. This gives you a nice finished look so you can cut those down if you like a little bit. Like that. So there you have the mechanism so now when you pull it it'll change colour and go back in. So just to finish off your card you've got a few little leaves in there. So I just glued mine down like that. And then you also have a flower in your kit, so with a, a pokey tool, what you can do is just hold on to the end of your wire there and you're just going to hold it on and you're just going to wrap it around so that it gives a little bit of a twirl to it. And so you have a little bit of a stem on there like that. So we're just going to put quite a bit of glue on the back of that because it's a heavier type of thing to stick down, so we just want to make sure that that sticks nice and tight. So now that's your card done. So I'll give you the measurements for all the bits and pieces now. So the base card we had at 11 and 5 8 inches across the top and 7 and 5 inches, 5 8 inches going down the side and we scored it at 3 and 7 8 and then in 7 and 3 4 quarters. The inside white card which is that piece that we folded over to make the slot that was 10 inches by 3 and a quarter inches and then I scored it at 5 inches. And the acetate and the little girl stamped card was measuring at four and a quarter inches by two and a half. So if you'd like to buy the kit, we have them online at the moment for ten dollars, and they come with full colour photo instructions along with um, instructions to come to the YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye.